Rahul continues to be with us. Uh, Rahul, once again for our viewers, just do take us through the names doing the rounds as far as the front runners now are concerned and what did they really bring to the table given the fact that the election is about a one and a half years away? Uh, uh, one will have to really wait and watch this situation primarily because there were certain uh, there were certain names who are there uh, in the state uh, BJP, but these names were the ones who were not accepted last time around were not acceptable to the top leadership given the fact though they did represent the dominant caste in Gujarat, but somehow the BJP did not. The top brass, uh, that includes Narendra Modi himself and uh, Amit Shah, did not, were not very really enthused by these names. And I, I, I will say that somewhere, somebody like Mr. C.R. Patil, who has the eyes and ears of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Amit Shah was a constituency manager for the BJ, for Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and has an impeccable track record, as Paulumi was saying. Uh, you know, he's a very he's a very classic case of a popular mass leader, at least in his own constituency. Why I say that? Does uh, uh, very few people know that he only goes to his constituency to file his nomination. He he remote controls it and has such command over the vote that uh, the gentleman actually one wins with a huge margin each time around. Given the fact that there is a huge trust level uh, vis-a-vis Mr. Patel, and also there is one uh, very clarity that he is somebody who knows how to deliver the vision of Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, that loads the balance and the scales in favor of somebody like C.R. Patel. But will the BJP spring a surprise? With this current command of the BJP, Narendra Modi and Amit Shah, I never rule that out. All right. Uh, we also, in fact, are picking up some of the names uh, right now as far as change of leadership in Gujarat is concerned. Uh, Rahul, if you could give us a little more information, if at all, on whether there would be any change when it comes to the post of the Deputy Chief Minister also and what are the other changes in the Cabinet that is expected? Yes, definitely. What we are being told that there is uh, going to, when the new Chief Minister takes over, there will be uh, changes as far as his Council of Ministers is concerned. Because remember that when the Chief Minister resigns, if the Council needs to be redrawn. And uh, what we are being told, that at least five to six big important changes could take place as far as uh, the Council of Ministers is concerned, largely because uh, the, the BJP top brass will like to influence one uh, <laughs> new pair of legs and certainly people who can deliver. Remember, the BJP does not have huge amount of time. Uh, uh, the elections are not not really very fast. And in the may have been uh, in this time, the BJP will try to do maximum as far as delivery is concerned and also bring in people who represent the the caste focus of the BJP in this election. There are several communities and castes that the BJP would like to work upon. Uh, remember also that this time the Congress is, compared to last election, is a depleted force. So the BJP may be looking like a slightly more beleaguered force uh, facing anti incumbency of 20 odd years. But the fact is, uh, post Narendra Modi, but the fact also is that the Congress, after the loss of uh, somebody like Ahmed Patel, the old Turk uh, for the Congress Party from Gujarat, the Congress strategy will be worth watching. That will Rahul Gandhi go for that Hindu card like he did last time around? Or will there be tweaking as far as the Congress strategy is concerned? And I think by doing what the BJP has kick-started today, the BJP is trying to set the political tone and agenda for this election as for its own liking. We'll be with us. We'll just come back to you for more on that because the choice of words also of outgoing Chief Minister Vijay Rupani was rather interesting when he spoke about Nayi Uja and uh, Naya Utsaha. Really, what does that mean essentially? But before that, listen in once again to Vijay Rupani, who's just put down his papers as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. जो दायित्व का निर्वाण करने के बाद अब मैंने मुख्यमंत्री पद से त्याग पत्र 
देकर पार्टी के संगठन में नई ऊर्जा के साथ काम करने की इच्छा भी जताई है अब मुझे पार्टी का द्वारा जो भी जवाब जिम्मेवारी मिलेगी उसका मैं संपूर्ण दायित्व और नए ऊर्जा के साथ प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में माननीय राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जी के मार्गदर्शन में मैं अवश्य काम करता रहूंगा Raul continues to be with us uh, Raul uh, you know uh, maybe a little premature to talk about that given that the man has just uh, you know taken over charge as the union health minister a big important job at this point in time given the situation we are vis-a-vis -vis the pandemic but what about the name of Mansukh Mandavia Steve uh, uh, Sneha that is a very uh, obvious name which you are citing I raised this query a little while back with one of the bjp leaders and what they are saying is that the uh, the possibility of change in gujarat was on for a very long time sometimes when uh, by the time the pandemic first wave started now given the fact that prime minister narendra modi has brought in mansukh mandavia knowing fully well that he might be changing the chief minister of gujarat and has given Uh, a critical portfolio like health ministry which you have covered for so long and you know uh, the day to day going on that mansukh mandavia has been brought in <laughs> with a very specific agenda given by the prime minister and he has been very active as a health minister now will the prime minister would the prime minister have brought in a health minister only as a stop gap arrangement because he is likely to send him to gujarat does not make lot of political and administrative sense but yes again it's again the prerogative of the prime minister and the bjp president that if they feel that mansukh mandavia uh, has set the house in order in uh, in the health ministry and could now be drafted to head gujarat uh, as the chief minister it's a possibility he is a very he could well be a very strong contender given the fact that that he is trusted by the prime minister he is a blue eyed boy given the most critical ministry at this moment uh, as far as the narendra modi government is concerned but then yes will they would the prime minister have brought in mandavia as the health minister at a, at this juncture knowing fully well that there is likely to be a change in gujarat chief ministership is a question which cannot be ruled out uh, rahul as far as changes in the in the top post is concerned these major shake ups we've seen them in uttarakhand in karnataka as well which obviously gives us the sense that the bjp is using this as a strategy just before elections also in gujarat it's been happening more often than not isn't it also speaks volumes of the fact that after the prime minister the then chief minister moved to delhi the shoes that he left behind are very difficult to fill in very big shoes that he left behind yes they are absolutely right they were very big shoes you see it's very rare that a chief minister who has done popularly well uh, in a state uh, gets the kind of attraction that narendra modi uh, did in 2014 you know it's uh, it's narendra modi story is <coughs> full of such political switches he was the first big time pracharak full time pracharak to enter uh, uh, active politics as chief minister so he walked into the assembly as chief minister then he walked into the parliament for the first time as prime minister now such a transition means that there there were some very large boots to be filled both in terms of his political understanding his political positioning and also his administrative hold remember in 2014 election it was not just narendra modi the man or the persona but also the previous bjp plank was the gujarat model of good governance now one vijay rupani likes do not measure up as far as narendra modi the political personality is concerned but also the administrative command that the that narendra modi as chief minister had created uh, in his tenure since 2000 late 2001 and that is why it has been a difficult task for uh, for vijay rupani uh, definitely and also remember that when narendra modi and amit shah like control the bjp in delhi there is definitely uh, what i will say that the chief minister does not have the same aura or political uh, heft which one can say as uh, narendra modi did because in 2013 for example narendra modi was 
the most powerful uh, leader of the BJP, emerging leader of the BJP, and the Delhi BJP top was a diminished force under uh, still the old timers like L K Advani and others who were pushed aside uh, eventually when the BJP came to power. And that is why Vijay Rupani's task has always been difficult because remember that the party units as well as the state government, ministers and functionaries keep looking towards Delhi as far as the final order is concerned. Though he was on the saddle, but eventually it, it, he never could enjoy the same amount of unbridled state chief minister's powers as Anarin Modi did. And that is why I will say that uh, somewhere he was perhaps not the most potent person for the job, a political person for the job, but also had certain handicaps. Yes, you know, Rahul, lastly, I want to ask you, just to tell us, when a decision is taken on appointing the next chief minister, what kind of a bearing is the, the, the desire of the BJP to woo the Patidars, really, have on this decision, which is expected, I guess, in just a few days from now? Now, I think it's an absolutely uh, uh, tailor-made exercise largely for the election. And that is why I say, I will say, is that the BJP this time around not only has to balance caste equation, but also has to give a face which the public will feel is going to lead a government towards an emphatic uh, performance-oriented uh, image than, uh, than what uh, Vijay Rupani could provide. And that is why somebody who is a known for his delivery mark is a very strong contender. That is why I will say that the point you made about Mr. Mansur Mandavia is, has, has great uh, potential. Be with us, Rahul. We'll just come back to you for more on the Hardik.